just six dollars. Yeah. This is Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Angel Stadium February 3rd and 4th and February 17th and 18th. Brought to you by Big 80 Tires and Great Clips. You have to see it live. So lock in your seats today at MonsterJam.com. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drop user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Spectrum Business is made to work, just like your small business. Made to connect and compete. Made to power through even when there's no power. With wireless internet backup, nothing slowing you down. Made to stay on track looking good. and on time. And made to keep you working no matter what with complete connectivity and reliability. It's a hit. Spectrum Business, made to work. It's Carl's Jr.'s two for six mix and match hand breaded chicken tender wraps. That's a mouthful. And so are these. Combine your two favorites with barbecue, ranch, or spicy Santa Fe sauces for just six dollars. Now you can get your breaking news and the best coverage from Eyewitness News in Spanish. Visit now abc7.com slash espanol. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. All right, now at 6, could street racing be to blame? Two people are dead after a fiery and violent crash on the 105 freeway. Uh, but first, the roads may still be wet out there after some overnight showers in some areas, and we are tracking a much bigger and potentially dangerous storm heading our way this weekend. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm John Gregory with Leslie Lopez, Leslie Sykes, and Rachel Brown are off. You know, it's Friday. There's some excitement, and but we still have to talk about this huge storm that's coming in. But before that huge storm, it's still Friday, and there's still Saturday. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. so, Brianna, what's it look? We need like? to enjoy it while yeah. we can. There's still Friday and Saturday before Sunday, which unfortunately looks to be a very difficult one for some spots in Southern California. So nothing to worry about yet, but prepare now. That's kind of what we've been saying. You can see on Live at Doppler 7000 HD that this most recent storm is moving on out. And as I put it on pause for you, you can see we just have some showers that are left over into areas mostly to the south and to the east. So Temecula, it's moving on out, and then we do have it uh, moving down into areas of San Diego County and then some snow still continuing to fall for some of the local mountains. So we do still have some flood watches that are in place. Uh, looks like they just expired that winter storm warning that was in place for the IE mountains, but we are still seeing it uh, up toward the grapevine. And then as we have uh, the coastline under high surf advisory too. So flood watch soon to expire and it's just because we do still have some showers that are still moving through this area this morning. All eyes ahead on the next storm though. Today is going to be cool. It's going to be an in-between day. We still have the chance for a scattered shower. That will be the case through uh, most of the day today, but our chances will really wind down and decrease through the rest of the day. Tomorrow will be pretty nice. It'll still be cool, and then we will have some showers moving potentially by late tomorrow for some spots. It'll be about 63 for downtown LA today, 60 for OC and then upper 50s to low 60s for the Inland Empire and Valleys. The beach is at 58, mountains 33 degrees. It's cold up there today and the high desert at about 54. I'll show you on the model what we are looking at and what to expect this weekend in just a little bit. Scott Reif up in Air 7 HD with a look at your drive this morning. Hey, Scott. Yeah, Brianna, you know, horrible incident here in the South Los Angeles area. It happened about 2.30 this morning. It's on the 105 freeway eastbound in Normandy. And, boy, speed played a factor. Witnesses says a couple of vehicles were speeding. That vehicle hit. Uh, the tree there was cut in half. Two people were killed. It's on the east 105 in Normandy and South Los Angeles. You can see the two right lanes are blocked. We don't see a westbound delay yet. I think we might into the morning. We'll keep you updated on that. But you can see there's a lot of crews here, a lot of activity and an investigation underway. So if you travel the 105 freeway eastbound, you got about a quarter mile back up. We'll go back to the scene and show you the incident itself. It's going to take a while to clear, so expect the 105 eastbound to really be tough towards Normandy into the morning, and the 105 westbound isn't affected yet, but I believe it will be later on. Uh, we have another incident to tell you about. We'll show you on the map. I-15 southbound. It's a 215, and you know, we don't have a big delay yet there as we try and wrap up a two-car crash, but there's a lot of volume coming southbound on the I-15 onto the 215 as we make our way into the morning towards San Bernardino, so just keep that in mind. Leslie, John? Okay, Scott, we'll check back. Thanks.